hey guys, it's Virginia. Just doing a quick video to show you why you would use Company Hub in Zapier, uh, in combination with Zapier. Zapier is a great um, joining application. I've used it a lot. Um, I'll show you my dashboard. Um, you know, these are just the ones that, the, none of these are my actual ones. These are all the testing ones. And I've actually got 45 that I actually use as well. So I've, I've got a, a lot of, um, I've played around with them a lot. And when you do something pretty simple, um, you use a trigger from one app and an action from another app. So for example, uh, you say you had MailChimp, I just had it, where is it? MailChimp and Active Campaign, something like that. Where's that? Here it is, there's one. MailChimp and Active Campaign. So say someone signs up to your MailChimp as a new user then you can send them to active campaign so you can run a, an email automation welcoming, welcoming them or something like that. I think you can now do that from MailChimp itself anyway, but um, basically when you're in Zapier, you are limited by the triggers and the actions that each app has. Now what happens is some, sometimes you will want to do things with your apps that they don't allow, they don't have a trigger or an action for. When that happens, um, and I've had it happen quite a lot, you, you often find you need a database in the middle. And so sometimes I use Excel for that. But the problem with that is sometimes the data's, Excel doesn't have a way to put together data that's like, for example, um, it's very difficult if you had for me, a loan going through deal stages. So there's information about the contact, information about the loan and the stage at which it's going through. And it's very hard to show that in one spreadsheet. So this is where I think uh, Company Hub really shines. So what you can do in Company Hub is you can create a custom table. Um, so we'll go in and we'll create a custom table. I'll show you how I do it. Um, we'll do a new table. Um, so we'll call it uh, my table. I'll call it here my table. Okay, and then what you do is you create different parts of the table, like different things in the table. Now, we're gonna run a birthday automation running from emails. So we'll need to have a name. We'll need to have an email for the customer. I'll call this customer's email. Email, oops, can't write. Customer's <laughs> email. Still can't write. Um, and then we'll need to have a date, their birthday we'll say. Where's the date one? It's got auto numbers, it's got phones, it's got yes, no, time and date, here we go. Okay, birthday. Okay, and then maybe we'll have some more loan information like loan amount. Okay, then you save it and close it. Then you come down here, you go my table. Where's my table gone? I just did it, there it is down there, my table. All right, now what you do is you add a person. So we'll say uh, Ben, his email, I'll put his email as my email, his birthday. We'll say it's today and his loan amount is 560,000. So we're just gonna add, the reason we do this is just to add a contact into the database so you can see how the database works. Then what happens is you'd be in Zapier and say you're on the dashboard and you're in the middle of a zap and you decide like this one here, you decide you want company hub in the middle of the zap so you go like this. I did this just before. Okay, you create a new uh, record in a custom table. So you can pull it out of an earlier trigger or you can pull it from lots of places but anyway that, it doesn't have to be a trigger it can be another action you pull it out of anyway so then what you do is you go in here and you say okay where's the new table my table we just did it the name getting the name for the new customer from the last thing and then we'll use your email your birthday I don't know if we had a date in here Anyway, you get the birthday in there somehow. It may or may not be in there. Anyway, 
way and then you just continue. Okay, so that's how you would pull the data from somewhere else into Company Hub. So then you go into Company Hub, um, you've pulled the data in, there it is, and now you want to run an automation. Okay, so you go automate. So from the data that's now in there, that we pulled from Zapier, or you, or usually you do pull it from Zapier because you, you get the data in through a form somehow, um, and it can be any of the forms that that uh, work with Zapier. Okay, so you've got my table, then you add a field in its condition. We want the birthday is today. Apply. And what do you want to do? We want to send an email. So we send it from me to the customer's email. Happy birthday. Hi, customer name. Happy birthday. Best wishes, Virginia. Finish. Okay, now you do test it. Okay, it's going to test it right now. This is called Happy Birthday. And you select which days of the week you want it to work. I'm just going to say all the days. And then at what time do you want it to go? You can change that. I think the end date can be in like, there we go. Oh wait, happy birthday to you. I've already done a birthday email. That's why the Utron's saying to change the names. Okay. So we go back here, see happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Um, and then there's things like where this really shines as well is when you've, say, got deals, a deal pipeline, like here. My plan is when I get loans approved, so it goes to the approved stage, um, I get an email off the bank. So what I'll do is I will pass that email into Zapier so that it changes the deal status from a lead to approved or from approved in principle to approved. So the lead goes here, and when the lead goes here, I will then go and is approved. I will then run an automation based on the fact that it's been approved. So here, so you can um, automatically I'll create a task when a deal stage changes. Okay, so this is what I would do when I was wanting to run an automation on a deal stage change. So here we are in my all open deals. These are my deal stages. Um, now you've got to know what you called your deal stage changes. I'd forgotten. So go into settings to find out if you've done the same thing as me. Go in, sorry, customize, not settings. Go into customize, go into create new fields, deal. And the one that we're after will have a red asterisk next to it on the deal fields. So the loan name has one and the second one that has it will have a red asterisk as well. And that's the one of the deal stages. There it is, loan opportunity. So that's, so minor closed one, closed loss. You can't change those. These are all the optional ones. So prospect, lead, approve, settle, all those ones. So loan opportunity is what I have labeled my stages. Okay, so then when we go into automate, got to remember that. So I want to create a task when a deal stage changes. So go into a deal. So you have to go if, I'll go back a bit, if a deal record and it's got to be the loan opportunity is approved, then save it. Then on success, I'll send an email and I'll say from myself to the recipient loan information, hi, 
you add the field from here, your loan has been approved. So what I've done by doing that is send an email to everyone who's once the opportunity is moved into approved. And it can do this, I can do this hands-free if I use Zapier to pass an email so that when I'm sent the notification of approval from the bank, it automatically then sends this to my client for myself. So I'll just save this. Whoops. It's got to be approved. I'm just adding one in. Okay. Okay, the U-Tron's been saved. So we go into our U-Trons. See, I've got a dear U-Tron, happy birthday. Okay, this is another. There's two other things which I wanted to tell you. One is um, I did an email that automatically pulls data out of a table and I send it to myself so that when... Um, I wanted to know the number and the LVR, like all this information about my loans that I want to send to someone at the bank. They want it in the subject header so they can find the loans in their system. So I just send it to myself, automatically pull the data, send, it, send the data into a custom spreadsheet, then automatically send myself an email with the data so that whenever I have to talk to the bank on this loan application, I'll show you in my emails what it sends me. See there, it's got the loan, the bank's number, the LVR, whether it's investment or existing customer. And so that, and the customer's name, I've just made it up, this obviously made up one. So that's how I do it. So there's an email. And the other thing which I used Company Hub for, just FYI, which is really quite interesting, is... Um, I made a custom table. Um, I have trouble when I'm on my iPhone checking um, what cu customers have sent me and what they haven't sent. So what I did is I made a little um, checklist of documents which you could just make from creating your own custom table. And then when I'm on my iPhone, yeah, I just log into Company Hub as I usually would and then I click on the table which is just here. Then I click on the table specifically and then you can see if I'm missing a pay slip or something, if someone sends it to me, I can just clip on this and that's all I need to do. Anyway, guys, that's it. Thanks so much for everything and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.